good morning children welcome all of you to english class today before starting our class let's recite brahmanat sit properly close your eyes oh oh sa open your eyes what you learned in your previous class you learned the olympic games who started the olympic games modern olympic games particularly baron pierre de coubertin what did he want from the people he wanted people from all over the world they come together and play with a friendly spirit many athletes have understood the essence of olympic well they have made the uh, great message of baron pierre de coubertin fruitful by showing their respect love respect to their opponents without caring winning even on the verge of winning they showed their respect they showed their love to their opponents they help them and finally they defeated in a story of long lose and jesuens both the great two athletes of the world they showed their brotherhood in olympic games without caring winning without caring winning and defeating they showed their respect they showed their love they showed their affection and made the fruitful the message of baron pierre de coubertin so we are going to read about such a story where a great athlete of the world he showed his respect he showed his love towards the animals whom he was going to hurt but he showed his sympathy to them and what happened then we will read in this story and the name of the uh, text name of the prose is today we are going to read that is the olympic champion and the dogs let us open your book and listen me attentively and carefully while i am reading let's start pius was born in sydney in australia his father was a great sculling champion when bobby was 5 he was rowing around sydney harbour in a small boat a little later he won his first race competing against 14 years olds One of the judges asked him, "How old are you, Bobby?" And he replied proudly, "Six, sir." Time he was twenty. Bobby was the sculling champion of Australia. The following year, nineteen hundred twenty-eight, he went to Amsterdam to compete in the Olympic Games. In the finals, he competed against Ken Myers of America. From the start of the race, Bobby was in the lead. At the halfway stage, he was still leading and very much ahead of Myers. it seemed that bobby would easily win go through the para 1 and 2 thoroughly and find out the difficult words you fail to understand i think these are the difficult words i am writing down them on the white board you write them you write the meaning you write the sentence using those difficult words let's discuss
सिंगल मैन बोट रेस कंपटीशन सिंगल मैन बोट रेस कंपटीशन स्कॉलिंग आई गो टू प्ले स्कॉलिंग ऑन संडे स्कॉलिंग मीन्स ए सिंगल मैन बोट रेस कंपटीशन इन द लीड इट्स अ थ्रेड्स द इंडियन क्रिकेट टीम the position ahead of all others all others born in He was born in Borongpur. Born in. Born in means taken birth. So. you write these difficult words along with their meaning and sentence let me tell you the gist of the text let me tell you the gist of para 1 and 2 bobby pers was a great scholar in australia and he was born in sydney you all watch cricket and you know sydney is a port city of australia he was born there his father was a great scholar he was once scholling champion of australia so that talent was inherited from his father to bobby pierce at the age of 5 he started rowing around the sydney harbour and when he was 5 years old at that time he was rowing around sydney harbour he competed against 14 years old he was 5 and his competitors were 14 years old he won the race and the judge in the jury team asked him about his age he replied he was 5 years old he rather replied it proudly he felt a sense of proud when he replied the age so this was all about bobby piers his talent in childhood and that talent grew when he grew up when he grew later in the year of when he attained the age of 20 he was the scoring champion of australia just as his father similar like his father he became the scoring champion at the age of 20 and after one year in the he was told and it was in the year of 1927 when he was 20 years old in 1928 he went to amsterdam and amsterdam is a city in a in netherland it is a city in netherland amsterdam he went to Amsterdam to compete against a great scholar whose name was Ken Myers of America. 
and in that race he was leading bobby pers pers was leading in the race at the halfway stage he was leading and he was seemed to win the race very easily this is all about bobby pers and his talent let us discuss some questions to check how far you have understood the text so far okay start let us discuss some comprehension questions where was bobby pierce born bobby pierce was born in sydney in australia what was his father his father was a great sculling champion what do you mean by sculling sculling means single man boat racing competition at what age did he start rowing boats he started rowing boats at the age of 5 how old was he when he won the first race he was 6 year old when he won the first race how old were his competitors his competitors were 14 years old who asked about his age one of the judges asked about his age at what age did bobby become the sculling champion of australia bobby became the sculling champion of australia when he was 20 in which year did he start to compete in the olympics he started to compete in olympics in 1928 who did he compete against in the finals he competed against ken myers of america in the finals who was in the lead bobby pierce was in the 